Hi, welcome to my channel Pretty Talkies. Today's star ingredient is pulses, one of our staple kitchen items. Pulses are powerhouses of protein and fiber. They are also one of the low fat sources with additional minerals like zinc, iron, folate, magnesium and B vitamins. Including pulses in your every meal adds a sensible portion of protein thereby making your meal a balanced one. In my pantry, I stock a variety of pulses starting from lentils, whole lentils, then chickpeas, brown chickpeas, rajma which is your red kidney beans and lima beans. In today's recipe, I have used a combination of whole green gram also known as whole moong dal and whole red lentils also known as whole masur dal. You can use any variety of pulses that are available in your kitchen. If using whole pulses, then it requires a minimum of 6 to 8 hours soaking period or overnight works best. If using regular dals or lentils, um, around 15 to 30 minutes of soaking period should be sufficient. This particular recipe is a one pot meal which means you will have only one dish to wash. Yeah, I know how much you will be relaxed hearing this. Since it's a one pot meal, it calls for a pressure cooking method. So a pressure cooker or an instant pot would work fine. In case you don't have them, you can still follow this recipe and cook it over a pan, but the cooking time and the amount of water used would vary. So please check the description box for more details. Today's recipe is mixed lentils curry. This lentil curry goes well with steamed rice, jeera rice, pulao, chapati and roti. This can also be eaten as a soup along with a breadstick which would fix your super busy weeknight dinner or a low carb lunch. Now, no more waiting, let's get into our recipe. For this recipe, I have used 3 4th cup of mixed lentils soaked overnight and this is how they look like in the morning. Now let's get into our ingredients list. Here I have uh, the soaked lentils, one small tomato finely chopped, one medium onion finely chopped, three garlic cloves and uh, one piece of ginger finely chopped and crushed, one green chilli finely chopped, salt to taste, asafoetida, uh, when coming to our masalas, we have um, half teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoon coriander powder and quarter teaspoon cumin powder. Spice level you can adjust according to your taste. Then for the tempering, I have here um, half teaspoon mustard, one teaspoon cumin and one teaspoon fennel seeds. At the end, I have some seasoning to be added at the end, which is half a teaspoon garam masala and one tablespoon dried fenugreek leaves, also known as kasuri methi. So this whole recipe can be made in a pressure cooker, thereby making it as a one pot meal. For video purpose, I am doing the preparatory things on a pan and then I'll shift it over to a pressure cooker. Take a pan, add around one teaspoon of oil. I'm using a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon there. Add the tempering, the mustard, jeera and the fennel seeds. Let it roast a while. Once it gets roasted, I'm going to add the chopped green chili and crushed ginger and garlic. Once they are sorted well, add the finely chopped onions. Since we are going to pressure cook everything, uh, just it's enough for the onions to turn pink. You don't have to fry them a lot. Since we are adding very little oil in this recipe, you can use a tablespoon of water to help you with sorting the onion evenly. This way you will not burn your pan or pressure cooker for that matter. Now it's time to add our chopped tomatoes. Give them a quick mix and saute well. Now it's time for masalas. Uh, I have your chili powder, turmeric powder and coriander and cumin powder. Add them to the sorted onion and tomatoes. Let's give a quick mix. Adjust the spice level according to your taste. 
to me this was perfect now it's time to add salt add according to your taste initially i'm adding an half a teaspoon salt then we're going to add a pin good pinch of asafoetida this this helps in digestion as we are using whole pulses and for that matter for any regular pulses too you can add asafoetida to in to help in your digestion now it's time to add our soaked lentils this is about 3/4 cup of dry lentils soaked overnight and add this and give a quick mix now i'm adding additional salt for the lentils i'm going to transfer the contents to a pressure cooker now we can add around 1 cup of water for the for the lentils to cook well now check for taste if required you can add additional salt once it starts boiling close the lid of the pressure cooker put the vessel on let it cook in medium flame for around 3 to 4 whistles once the pressure has subsided you can remove the lid of the pressure cooker you can now see how the dal is nicely cooked and soft give a quick mix add additional cup of water now it's time to add our seasonings i have garam masala here and then uh, dried fenugreek leaves kasuri methi crush them a bit to get the flavor before adding now add it to our dal during this while you can see that my i have switched on the flame give a quick mix now you can get a closer view of the lentils curry and yes the mixed lentil curry is ready now to be served do try this recipe at your home and give your feedback on the comment section if you like this video do give a like comment share and subscribe to our channel Stay tuned and bye from Preeti. Thank you.